So here we have another slope problem. Once again, we've been asked to find the slope of a line. And once again, the way they described the line for us was with a equation of a line. This is the equation of a line. And I would say the same thing to you that I said in the last video, which is when um, this particular problem, much like the last one, describes one of our special lines. This is one of our special lines. Notice how it's not written in y equals mx plus b formula. In fact, instead of y being alone, we see x alone, and we just see x is equal to a number. There aren't even any y's uh, to be had in this equation. And so, again, most mathematicians just have memorized that when you see something in this form, y equals a number, this very funny looking, you can't even get y at all. This is our strange line, our vertical line. And if you remember, vertical lines have that crazy slope that we described as being an undefined slope. Undefined slope. So again, the easiest way to do this is just to memorize it. But the problem with when we just ask you guys to memorize stuff is that if you don't understand it, you don't remember it. So let me go ahead and show you on a graph why we would describe this line as having an undefined slope. Let's imagine if someone told us that x is equal to negative 2. Notice how there's no y in this equation at all. That means it doesn't even matter what y is. Whatever y is, x is always going to be negative 2. You can think of this like x is always going to be negative 2 because there's no variable over on this side. The answer won't vary. Okay, now because of that, you can think about it. Let's imagine if my y, so y's are my vertical axis, my up down. So let's imagine that I had a y of 2 here. My x would be uh, negative 2. So negative 2 in the, on the x axis is that way. So negative 2, 2. Um, let's imagine that my um, y was 1. It would still be at at an x of negative 2. Even if my y was way down here at negative 3, my x would still be at negative 2. And you can see as I start to plot all the points that have a negative 2 of an x, they form a vertical line. This is the vertical line. x is equal to negative 2. Um, and so as you move up and down, your y's might change, but your x's stay constant because you haven't moved left or right. So um, you can see now why I might describe this as being an undefined slope. Remember that slope is a number that describes steepness. Now, if my line were like this, then it'd be a certain steepness going down. Like this, it's a certain steepness going up. If I do a flat line, it's clear to see that it has a zero slope. But how are you going to describe the slope of a line that's straight up and down? It's like a cliff. It's like infinity slope. And that's why we describe it as being undefined. We have no way to define such a slope. Um, it's like forever slopingness. Um, it's a strange concept to think about, but we always describe those vertical, those straight up and down lines as having an undefined slope. And so if you did not know that, that is the key concept to take away from this video. Any line that goes straight up and down has an undefined slope, any vertical line. And if you're lazy like me, you'll want to remember that when x is just equal to a number, it's a vertical line with an undefined slope.